What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and I know you're looking at Ableton right now. Uh, this is another Ableton the easy way tutorial. We're going to be looking at how to make um, essentially Ableton mix your beats for you so you can save a shitload of time. Now the reason why I'm doing this um, was because I just got done watching a cool um, MG the Future um, tutorial talking about how to um, set up your you know set up a an, an instrument rack and a drum rack to kind of contain all your drum samples across um all your drum samples across a uh a a rack and just be able to select them god why are you still playing 808s bro but just be able to select them with macros which i thought was absolutely brilliant um so I'm so I'm on my push right now and I can cycle through So I can cycle through like 128 uh, samples with just the encoder on my push, which is awesome. I, I, I want to use the push more than anything. Um, so before I had, you know, a whole bunch of individual channels for my um, for you know individual drum racks and i just populated the pads of the drum racks on uh with all my different samples um with this method um when i open a clip i have all of you know it's just it's just a kick a snare a hi-hat a perk uh two two claps if i want to stack them another snare if i want to stack it or do an accent snare and then an open hi-hat now um instead of having to do the ghost channels uh to be able to see the different you know the different midi information and be able to play off it when I'm programming visually I can just see it all within a clip but um in the process of setting this up you know now I got to go ahead and do my gain staging because I like to I mean I don't know about you guys but I don't like to spend a lot of time mixing my tracks right so what I have here is you know I have my kick I have my kick channel going on and when I go ahead and I show um the you know the instrument and everything inside here what I'm doing is after um you know if you guys go watch the MG the future video and, and learn how to set it up now come back after um after this after the sampler instrument what I'm what I've went ahead and done is I've added spectrum so that um I can tune my kicks accordingly um the the same way I was doing with my template and now I've got the new utility I've set it to mono because I want my kick in mono my snare in mono um you know I, I want my 808 in mono all that good stuff and now I can just take the sample and then according to the parameters of my mix template which you have if you're a studio one tutorial subscriber my kick is going to be at negative six so I've just went ahead and um adjusted the gain on utility so now anytime I come in here and I start programming, I don't have to mess with my kick. It's just, it's, it's gain stage. It's at negative six already. My snare, I want that at negative 12. Boom, it's at negative 12, all right? Um, my hi-hat, all right, so now my hi-hat, I want that to be at something different. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab utility. Oops. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and grab utility. I don't know why. Why are you being such a bitch, utility? Oh, hold up. Audio effects. VSTs. All right. So now we grab utility. Boom. Throw that. Throw it in here and then just adjust it right so I want to get this around negative 24 Alright, bet. So that's so now I got my hi hat taken care of. We just go to the next pad. What's this a perk? Alright, so I just grab utility back here again. And I wanna I wanna drop that down to like negative twenty-four as well. Alright, 
All right, perfect. Next pad. Clap. Just grab utility again. Put our clap right there. Next pad. All right, same thing. Nice, moving right along. Just hit the B snare. You know, this is that snare that's, you know, just doing the, you know, the little, um, the little rhythm in the background, not your main snare. So, you know, obviously I don't want that as high as my regular snare. I'm going to take that and make it around the same volume as I would as I would a perk. All right, perfect. And then what do I got last? Open hi-hats. Open hi-hats. Let's just grab another utility and we're going to drop that around 24-2 again. This is all information I'm taking off my mix template that you get when you're a subscriber to Studio One Tutorials. It is 50 cents a day. All right, cool. Now we got that. All right, so now I have my, uh, I've got my drums gain staged. So and now whenever I open this up, you know, I've, I've, I've got this all, you know, I've got this all taken care of right here. Um, wh whenever I, after I save this, um, this, um, this set as as the template set it's my drums and you know my 808s are going to be gain stage so right here i've got my 808 on my 808 to hit just above negative 18 so i'm just going to go into utility right here boom and i've got a um i've got a I've, I've, I've got this you know this custom 808 chain set up where i've got the tuner um because as i go through different samples um in this in this um in this 808 rack let's see I'm, I'm playing c but this this sample is e flat so now i can just go into here change the root key to e flat or d sharp and now when i play c Oh, derf. Hold up. I have to actually select the sample that I'm using. this guy right here right so now I set it to D sharp all right so now we're at C good to go and then I have I have my utility set up again we got we're perfectly gain stage we're hitting right at like negative 18 if I want to add saturation I could go ahead and add that but I don't need it on this particular sample I can go ahead and close up utility and then I have track spacer already here set up so I could go ahead and initiate my side chain from my ghost kick you know that that shit's already on point so now you know now that I have this all you know tight and gain stage I can program drums and it's all going to be um, for the most part perfectly balanced not perfectly mixed because you know you might want to add um, you know some uh, some compression to different things maybe some saturation some EQ so it's not a perfect mix but you have the perfect beginning proper starting balance which is gonna make everything um, so much easier to deal with right so once we got once we got that set up we can you know you can start looking at uh, whatever you know whatever your instrument chain is um, you know per the um, per the mixing template I keep my I keep my instrument uh, my band bus I make sure that it isn't you know collectively hitting above um, negative 20 between negative 20 and negative 24 depending on what your drum texture sounds like so I've already went ahead and gone through all these and I have that set up except for this guy this guy's a little loud but um 
you know once you know once you have you know once you go through and you have all your favorite VST set up and you and and all your drum samples um, entered you know, entered correctly in gain stage now all you have to do is just work just go in make your beat um, uh, do you know do whatever you want throw your limiter on the master channel and you know the, when you when you when you set up gain stage like this you're gonna get that nice sweet spot of between negative six negative three that's where all the great um, mixing and mastering presets are set to work at so you could just go ahead throw ozone on put the mastering assistant on and then boom you, you know export your stuff and it's and it's going to sound great and then um to to take it even further now you can put into action all these different mixing tutorials you guys love watching and then actually use those techniques and hear the actual results because a lot of the problems that people get when they get into trying to learn mixing is they don't take the gain staging seriously first and they're and they're trying to you know um you know do these crazy different eq and, and compression chains and they don't understand why it doesn't make a difference and it's because you know you, you you're not leaving yourself headroom to mix so anyway man hope this guy i hope this helps you uh you ableton heads out this is uh this is something that is just uh completely um you know reinvigorated my workflow made it super fast to use i mean at, at this point i could mix on laptop speakers as far as beat mixing um because i trust this template so much so keep it simple don't be basic this is cmp with craft master production studio one tutorials.com stop by get your premium membership it is 50 cents a day and we will see you on the next one